This area is so neglected and it's been for so many years, a lot of the residents just kind of gave up. That was my biggest goal, to first get them to actually meet each other and then do things together, like having cleanups. And instead of having this be this ugly space, we could really utilize it for us. We've been working with a group of youth and having a mural painted, and today it's being unveiled. So Lisa worked with the neighbors, and we provided technical support. Art can really impact communities. It's a physical interaction with the environment and the neighborhood where you can get, you know, bring people together. It's a big deal to make sure that there's a connection between, you know, a, a real strong relationship. Right around Christmas, we had a tragedy where a house was burnt down. So the city was going and checking fire alarms. They came here and people wouldn't let them in. So that's when I was like, so we're afraid of the fire department and the police. So I personally went up and down the streets with them knocked on everyone's door and said, no, let them in to help your family. You know, before we used to hear a gunshot and everybody would come to my house at like midnight. I'm like, you have phones, call. And now everyone here knows the police by name. And it's not like you're calling a police officer, we're calling our friend, you call Mike. You know, they have their numbers and they're not afraid anymore. There were so many people here from all levels of Massachusetts government and that there's that sort of energy as a school. The first time I met Lisa, we were down there for just a neighborhood cleanup, and really everybody came out and were just supportive. That's what it's all about. It's like the threads, the threads of the community. Hi, everybody. My name is Bruce Orm. I run the public art program known as Good to Go. Angel, Austin, Anthony, Brian. Behind the iPad is Josh. It's mainly like learning like techniques, how to do painting, how to do like graphic design. If you want to fulfill an illustrator job, I think this is a perfect opportunity for you to come, improve your skills. It has a good feeling. I mean, doing what you love as a, as a job, it's just like, it's just the best thing that can happen. The staff, they're there for you if you need help. They're very welcoming. They're our role models. We kind of are family. We can envision, like, that's why we have a vision board here. You know, we could put a stage there. We could have talent shows, we could have festivals. I've talked to the city and they're willing to make programs that are specifically designed to meet the diversity that we have here. This is more than just a pathway it's for the people here to be able to connect with each other right in their own backyard. Congressman Seth Moulton ran for office because he had a desire to serve. And there are a few people that embody the title servant leader better than Lisa Wallace. But on behalf of the city, we are excited to see the Lynn Community Path become a hallmark example of community engagement, neighborhood enhancement, and the rich potential that Lynn holds. When you talk about the diversity of Lynn, everyone talks about it, this is where it is. And this is a community that has come together. Our first meetings, we had like three, four people. We've had meetings now with 30, 40, 50 people. At this time, Let's unveil and see the mural. A group of nine teenage males painted this colorful mural celebrating the identity of this neighborhood in Lynn. The mural includes vibrant imagery of the Saugus Branch Railroad line, a portrait of Frederick Douglass who lived here and was active in the Underground Railroad. Lynn is written in three illustrative fonts representing the energy of youth, the artistic pulse here, and the workforce. Lisa helped organize that, and I, I thank you for that. Yeah, I love this neighborhood. 